now you've seen what we did with the stop button. Um, and that was fairly simple. If we're going to do the uh, remove button here, which is really just going to change the status from one to uh, the number two, then you can see how fairly simple this is going to be. And we'll go ahead, we already got log open here. Let's go ahead and just copy the stop case. And we'll change it, the copy anyway, to remove. Um, we're going to call this remove because delete is going to be actually taking it out altogether. Um, remove is just going to take it out of the active tasks, but with the ability to restore it later if you needed to. So remove, we're going to send it the ID just like we did with stop, only we're going to change status, and it's going to be equal to the number two. Save that. Scroll down. We need to do something similar here to this button. So we're going to do BTN for the class. Remove. And let's go ahead and copy this data ID. Paste that there. Save that. Pretty simple. Hop over to our JavaScript. And we can pretty much copy this entire thing. that and change this one to remove change the mode to remove and it's that easy before we do that though let's go ahead and let's start putting some comments in here so we can decipher what's going on here remove task stop task New task. And take a little bit of tidy up. And save that. Go back to our page, refresh. And we can we can hit these. However, they're not going to show any different because there's one thing we're missing here. We're not filtering out tasks in our log, uh, our Ajax file. So hop over to log.php. And before the for each, or after the for each, give yourself some space here. And we're going to do an if data status double equals for is equals one. Go ahead and hit delete on that curly bracket. Keep this one. Come down here and add another at the bottom. Save that. Hop back over to here. Click on one of these again, and let me find in this status. Ah, this is supposed to be task. Refresh. There you go. Now let's try this again. Let's remove one of these. There you go. Now they're off the list. But they're still in our data, uh, our JSON file. So we could go into restore mode here later and pluck them out. And uh, one thing I'm going to add to this that I haven't added yet to the uh, the uh, main project and on GitHub is the ability to truly delete an item. Um, so we'll do that too.